Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Aquarius, what's falling out of the deck is the four of wands and the page of swords. So it's delays to this big contract, this monumental um, achievement, this success, this opportunity to purchase real estate, to move, to treat loved ones out. It's just delays. The page of swords is still a yes answer. So you do have a yes answer, but it's delays to your yes answer, all right? I'm gonna put this back in the deck, yeah. At the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, you're gonna become very independent, abundant. You're gonna make some move, maybe even relocation. Definitely move away from doing the same thing over and over again, all right? So let's see what career has to say for Aquarius, career and finance. And then we'll pull another deck and we'll see what that deck has to say for love and romance. All right, let me turn this down. Okay. All right, let's see. Career and finance for the Aquarius. All right, career and finance for the Aquarius. The Two of Swords, what you don't see. The Two of Swords. Um, it's it's going to be good for you to leave something alone right now, not make a decision on it, and come back to it. Focus on negotiation and, and compromise. Also planning. Make sure that you're going to be in direct, full cooperation in terms of, yeah, maybe um, some of you are waiting for uh, an answer, maybe from an agency, a large entity, a corporation. Uh, you're waiting for something to come together. It's moving parts to something. Right now, you feel like you're just wondering with the Eight of Cups. Some of you are also in jobs or you feel like you're just wondering. You don't know where it's going it's almost as if you want to be somewhere else. You know you have to finish this up and then maybe move away or you're finishing up this wandering and then you're going to go into actually maybe Nine of Cups, maybe getting your wish, your wishes fulfilled, granted, um, manifestation of your wishes. Yeah, the hangman here. It's like you're in limbo. You know, everything is moving around you or it's kind of standstill. Uh, but you feel like right now, you know, um, this is time for you to think about why haven't you had what you really wanted and what you need to sacrifice in order to get it. Some of you, this is like questioning if you should leave a job, but it's like leaving and going where? You have to ask yourself, where am I going? What am I doing? You have to have some plan here. So some of you are standing still because you don't have a plan. Some of you are waiting for um, judgment, waiting for... Uh, yes answer maybe from uh yeah nine of pentacles you some of you got this business idea or you got an idea that you want to start your business or start a business here um it's making you restless in your in your job in your current position here with the nine of pentacles it says that you have all that you need to actually do this thing you just need to have the the courage the gumption the notion the plan also to actually do it some of you are waiting for a Again, waiting for a response, waiting for a package with the Nine of Pentacles, waiting for something, uh, maybe even a person. What is this? Nine of Swords. Um, there's a lot of anxiety, a lot of overthinking. Some of you are working at night or you're like night shift workers or shift workers. Your sleep is messed up. Your sleep patterns are off. Um, you have a hard time either staying asleep or getting to sleep. Um, some of you are waking up late. So, um, your mental space is foggy. There's fogginess in here. It's not mental clarity. The two of cups. Now, this could have something to do with maybe a love situation, but this is career and finance. This is also some of you are kind of off and out of whack because you're doing something over and over again um, each and every day. Your work ethic is, you know, unmatched here in terms of whatever it is you do, however it is you do it. Um, you're doing a really good job, okay? Um, whatever you're doing, it marries you perfectly. Uh, with the Two of Cups, this is like, for some of you, this is e-commerce or commerce, the strength card. Um, yeah, this is more so, this will be those of you who work for other people, okay? 
those of you who work for other people, you're doing something each and every day. Your work ethic is strong. Um, something about your priorities in your, yeah, your priorities in your daily routine. Your daily routine is off for some of you with the strength card. Um, there could be aches. There could be pains. There's something keeping you up at night. It could be a toothache. It could be needing dentist dentistry work or dentist work or some of you sleeping, you grinding your teeth. I don't know. It's a lot going on with you, but it's like minor annoyance, like annoyance in terms of your body. Um, this also may be telling you that you get ready to come into, wow, a more fruitful uh, way of living, uh, just so a more pleasant life. With the Ace of Cups, it's like the universe is about to bless you with something. Maybe a new home. This could also just be, you know, absolute emotional clarity. This could be a new love. This could be a new friendship. This is a new business venture that, once again, it could be profitable for you. So something about the hand of God blessing you. Um, emotional fulfillment. A new start. You're going to have to build upon it. Wow. As I say that, the Nine of Cups. Something you've been wishing and hoping for. This could also be a new love. Some of you are good in terms of finances, uh, your resources. You want love in your life. You want someone to love. You want someone to love you. Yeah, this is what you've been putting out to the universe. It looks like it could come into you very fast. The obstacles that were in the way could be blocked, uh, removed. The, the blockages could be removed and your life could come into like where things just go really quickly because the universe is aligning for you to meet maybe your soulmate, someone that you will fall in love with instantly. The Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Wands, Three of Wands. Yeah. Right now you feel like you're isolated. But this is supposed to be a career in finance. Some of you are wishing and hoping for love. Um, also in career and finance, it looks like things will align for you and you're gonna expand, okay? You're gonna be able to have expansion, maybe even move overseas or do some travel. Yeah, do some travel. You might even meet a travel romance is coming up again. Um, your manifestations are coming into you. The law of attraction, you are attracting what it is you want for yourself in terms of career and finance. It's like you want to be free to do and live life on your own terms. You got to figure out how that looks for you. How do you make money doing that? How do you sustain yourself and all the things or people around you that depend on you? The Wheel of Fortune, it says that the universe will align things to you so that you can move on certain opportunities. The eight of wands talks about, um, opportunity presenting itself to you and you have to move rather quickly. You have to make some decision quickly. Um, this could be communication coming into you. This could be a lot of people vying for your attention. Maybe, um, maybe whatever it is you do or whatever it is you have, if you have a business, you're going to get a lot of different, um, offers or a lot of different people wanting, uh, your service or your product. The three of wands here, um, you, you can get a lot of different offers for people to, they want to work with you, partner with you, pair with you. They want to help you expand or you're helping other companies expand. Something about expansion here. So that's really good. All right. I'm going to pull one card in terms of yeah, eight minutes for career. All right. So one card for career and then we're going to jump into love and romance. All right. Love and romance. Well, career for the Aquarius. All right. This one to pop up. Be true to you. Yeah. Be true to you, Aquarius. Uh, what does that mean? Um, well, it means be true to you. No. <laughs> um, for some of you, it's like you want to, you know, you want to do something else. You want to be somewhere else. You just don't know how to get there. So, I mean, that's easy. That's a practical question. How do I get to live the life that I want to live? Well, what does that look like? You need to get things on paper and out of your mind, out of your head space. If it's just there in your mind, then we have what I forget the number of thoughts we have each and every day. If it's just in your mind, it's easy for you to just kind of forget about it or think about it once and move on. And you're moving on to what you're going to eat for lunch. But once you put things on paper, it's in front of you, then you can kind of meditate on it. And it also can become real. Um, Think about the life you want to live. Think about how it looks for you. Think about what it is you need to do to get there. Um, talk to an expert also in terms of what, is, what does it look like. For some of you, you're thinking and planning retirement. 
How does that look? When When is it coming? Is it going to come early? Is it going to come late? Do you have to have money for retirement? So you got to really kind of, once you can get things on paper, um, in terms of how you want the next phase of your life to look here, right? So be true to you. Do what it is you want to do, but figure out how you're going to do it. Yes, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And sometimes we have to deal with human experience things like... Uh, Figuring out retirement, figuring out if we are going to retire from one career and go into another, and how will we do it? So there you are. All right, so um, let's see what love has to offer the Aquarius. What do you want to tell Aquarius in terms of love? Are these ones that come out Page of Wands, King of Wands? So you have somebody who really desires you. This person wants to have sex with you. Uh, whoa, you got nothing but fire. King of Wands. Page of Wands, Seven of Wands, 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 just Wands everywhere. <clears throat> this person definitely um, wants to have some passionate. If, if you guys are not um, together, they want to make up with you. They want to have a passionate night of, you know, making up with you. I don't know if they'll stick around. They could just be coming around for the sex to distract you. You know, um, yeah, they want to do something with you, maybe and travel with you, have sex with you and travel with you. Um, this could be a new person. This could be an old person. But for some of you, it's going to be an old person because we got that page of wands there who wants to kind of make up, you know, wants, wants to make up to you or, or make up with you. What is this about? Okay. Um, seven of cups flipped out in reverse. Um, maybe somebody wants to come out of just this wishful thinking about you and they want to make something real here. Maybe they want to come out of being not serious about you, about the relationship, and they want to be more serious or they want to be um, serious about the connection in terms of um, making it real. What is this about? Wow, the Ten of Wands. It, it could have been karmic. You guys could have just been engaging with each other, not knowing where it was going. You kind of both were on autopilot and how you were dealing with one another. Um, there were no real intentions set for the relationship. So it turned karmic. This is the karma that we create for ourselves by having no intentions. So if somebody wants to come out of that, somebody is like, look, I got a renewed sense of me. This could be you, Aquarius. You could be done with this, uh, done with dealing with people or situations, situationships. Uh, the eight of pentacles you could be working on yourself you feel like maybe you feel like you've given this situation chance after chance over and over again you're not sure if you want to continue with this somebody wants another chance and is thinking about you over and over again some of you are trying real hard to find some new love yep wow eight of wands could be online some of you have a lot of options and you need to choose one Everybody's got something wrong with them and you just don't want it. You know, you know, maybe that's where you are. Um, you also could be dealing with somebody who has a lot of options and they know they need to choose one. It could be offering you maybe um, stability, some form of stability. It might not be exactly what you want with the page of pentacles here. But somebody does want to stabilize a relationship in terms of love. It seems as if you feel like you've been here before with them or... Um, it's just not going to change or something's not something's not changing. Yeah, the moon card. You feel like this person is most times of two minds about you. They lie to themselves about how much they actually really love you, want to be with you until you leave or there's a ghosting situation or somebody puts the relationship down and now the other person is running, chasing after. This is some bullshit. Uh, the lovers, yeah. Um, somebody then realizes that they love you. They want to be with you. It's a significant union. Um, yeah, I, I ain't got time for this. I, I don't want to, I'm, I'm over reading stuff like this. I really am. It's to the point where I'm, I'm even contemplating just only being like a career finance reader. I'm so tired of reading this, this stupid shit. It's so stupid. Ugh. It's just like, you know, I don't know, you know. Um, all right. So here we go. More stupid shit. Uh, closed off to love. Somebody is closed off to love. Okay. It could be you Aquarius. You can say, I, you know, I'm just not focused on it right now. I haven't been good at it. I, you know, it's a losing game. You know, all of those different sayings, or this is somebody that you were dealing with. They were closed off to love. Okay. Yeah. You just feel like you're in need of new real friends. This can be love partners. Also, you, you need someone who really loves you, really wants you. And we talked about that earlier with some of the other cards. Um, 
let's see um what else is going on for love for the aquarius um love for the aquarius somebody's materialistic as f okay some again yeah it's like somebody can't get over you now they want you back they could be jealous of you also jealous of the fact that you could just walk away they wanted to treat the relationship like a hookup on the weekend you know or just like you know it was just something to do it was part time it didn't mean much they weren't serious about you or vice versa this is what you were doing aquarius not sure who was doing who what but yeah all right let's get some last cards let's see what was going on or what's going on in the love affair the love department for the aquarius collective this wants to come out from promiscuity so it could be you could be another person aquarius there's somebody who um they just didn't finish anything they just start shit all over you know start relationships with so many different people they don't finish anything and that's the the true definition of promiscuity someone who finishes nothing many starts no finishes um yeah this is somebody who gets around yeah travel this is somebody who tra the, this is somebody who travels this is somebody who gets around like traveling what's that that movie the traveling pants yeah this is somebody who's some traveling pants for real this keeps wanting to show its face um you might have a dangerous person around you watch her back um and somebody might be dangerous because um they engage in risky behavior risky sexual behavior you don't want to you know um be caught up in that in terms of you know yeah it keeps wanting to show its face um sexually transmitted um disease maybe even unwanted pregnancy so that's what i have for you aquarius um yeah somebody just cannot keep a steady person yeah and it could be that they can't keep steady work but if somebody can't keep a steady person they need to get some spiritual awareness and this one to show its face again um and then there's also black magic somebody's doing some black magic somebody's health is declining and you get some vivid dreams okay about how somebody is in a relationship that's making them crazy because they're with somebody who is an actual whore um and they can't maintain a relationship somebody hates you because of just you they try to rally people against you also they think that you're smart um somebody has a whole lot of secret sex behind your back or this they like have a secret sexual addiction anyway i'm once again tired of reading this stuff um thank you guys many blessings to you there's a lot of blessings coming into you especially financially um love i don't know you know get a personal reading so you can figure out your own love life it is a general reading it's not going to be for everybody please stop writing things down in the comment section like it doesn't resonate for me it's a general reading then click off and go to another reader it's just that simple um thank you guys and many blessings to you again go over to the website book there um today is friday or friday there's some specials going on um look over in the the community tab and you can get your own personal reading you can also uh donate to the channel by clicking the buy l a coffee link you can catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you guys again take care have a really good weekend